Hi YouTube, it's Selena, and I'm here today with my Pan That Palette update. So, I'm a little late, I apologize, but, you know, I got some pretty decent progress. I didn't hit all my goals, but I did hit some. So, for a quick update, here's what my palette looked like last time. And here we are today. As you can see, I didn't take the other shadows out this time because I'm lazy and I'm kind of in a hurry. But uh, you still get the overall picture. <laughs> so. so I had two goals last time. I hit one of them and I got pretty close on the other one. The one that I hit was to hit pan on the shade Boho from Itzy. And I did manage to do that, as you can see hopefully see. I actually really like the shade. It's like a nice little neutral crease. I might work on it next year to get it used up. I haven't totally decided on that yet. Like I just, I'm gonna do the same thing next year. Pick out a number of shadows to use, some to just hit pan on. I might do 10 again. I might go down to like nine just to make things a little bit easier on me because now that we're in the home stretch, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna I think I can hit pan on what I have left. I don't know if I can finish the three that I have left is where I'm getting a little concerned. So my other goal, the one that I didn't hit, was I wanted to finish Legend from my Ulta Avengers palette. And I mean, I definitely used up more, but I just didn't quite finish it. Like that's probably only a couple of uses left, but you know, I just didn't quite get there. Now, I was going to try to finish one a month for every month until the end of the year, but not finishing Legend has kind of thrown that off. Because the other two shades that I have to finish are the Balm's Fit, which, you know, still has a decent amount left, but I think I can finish two of these by the end of the year, and I don't know if I can finish three. That's the problem. But... The other one that, while it looks like a lot, this is a really soft formula, so it goes pretty quickly. It is the, what are you? The Bad Habit Eyeshadow in Medusa from the Athena palette. So like I said, it looks like I have a lot left, but A, a bunch of that has actually been pretty well flattened out. And B, like I said, it's a really soft formula. It goes fairly quickly when you're using it. Like, that one has just not been what I've been concentrating on. So, as far as the last two that I have to hit pan on, I have this shade from my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette in Shell Shock. And it does have a dip. I have worn it a couple of times. So, I don't think that will be a problem to hit pan on. And the other one is my Daily Inner Corner shade that it also gets mixed in with my highlighter, so it gets plenty of use. It is from the Vice 2 palette as well. It's in Dope. And you can see where my Inner Corner brush has been hitting very easily. But you can also see brush marks all over it from where I'm using it as a highlight. So that one's getting a lot of love. So technically five shadows left, two to hit pan on, three to finish. And I'm, like I said, I'm not entirely sure I can finish all the ones I have left but I'm not giving up I'm gonna try I think I can at least finish two of them and I th I'm sure I'll hit pan on the other two I'm not worried about those and now I'm more trying to think well which ones do I want to pan next year do I want to actually finish any of the ones that I hit pan on and I do think there's at least a couple of them that I do but I also want to mix in you know other stuff that I, maybe I already have pan on in other palettes or just smaller shades that I know I can finish. Because I mean, some of these I started from brand new that on the finish side and I did finish them. So it's not, it's certainly not impossible. This year it's just been a trial for project painting along with everything else it's been a trial on. I'm not the only one feeling that, especially the crunch at the end of the year where I'm looking at what I have left and I'm like, Ugh, can I really finish all this? We'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to pick out what I am officially working on for next year in about the next month. You'll probably see an intro video in December like I did last year for this. So I'm going to...
going to be putting that together relatively soon. But like this one, I will probably rip everything out of palettes and put them together in some kind of Z palette just for ease of use. Because one time I did this type of thing, but I was just, I just had like a stack of palettes. It did not go as well. The one this year went so much better than the one I did, and I think it was either 2016 or 2016 or 2018. I can't quite remember which one. Where I, I did okay on it, but not great, just because I tended to not pull from every palette like I should have. But this time it went a lot better. Anything I don't finish this year that I wanted to finish, I will throw that next year. So um, that's, how, that's why I'm trying to wait as well to see okay, I don't want to go ahead and pick out, you know, say 10 shades and then have to knock one out because I didn't finish something. So, just letting y'all know some of my thoughts. As always, stay through, stay tuned through the end so you can see my progress pictures from the beginning to now. But that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!